From Maple Grove, it's girls lacrosse, the Section 5 championship game. The Crimson ranked number five, host number seven, Benilde St. Margaret, Steve Thompson, Dan Ficken, and our CCX crew tonight. Great night for lacrosse, and Dan, what a matchup. Oh boy, do we ever have a matchup. We got the 15 and 0 undefeated Maple Grove Crimson against the 13 and 2 Benilde St. Margaret's Scarlet Knights. And boy, I, I tell you, Steve, you couldn't ask for a better matchup here. You got the number one and two seeds in the section, and they're going to go at it tonight. And elite goal scoring on oh. both sides. Boy, the, these teams can light the lamp, and they both average just over 14 a game. They do, and they uh, do just, I mean, the stats are c- completely close to each other. I mean, the difference is Maple Grove only gives up three-point goal for goals per game, whereas um, Benelda, they're giving up a little bit more, like six. So the advantage offensively goes to the Crimson here. Yeah, and uh, speaking of elite goal scoring for Benilde St. Margaret's, uh, junior Maggie Gray is sick. 56 goals, 44 assists, 100 points on the season. And Maple Grove's got a lot of great scoring punch as well. Ella Olson leading the way, 45 goals on the season this year. These two teams are about as evenly matched as they can get. And, and frankly, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's coming down to the goaltending. I really do in this game. It is a big deal in lacrosse. And how did these teams get here? Well, Maple Grove, they beat Rodgers in the openers 16-3 before taking down YZ 8-7 in a hard-fought battle. Meanwhile, Benilde St. Margaret's beat Breck 16-2 and then outscored Blake 14-6. It'll be Benilde St. Margaret's and Maple Grove, the winner to state, coming up here on CCX. Underway an early start here in the Section 5 Championship. Maple Grove there in white on the attack down to our left. Brooke Nelson in goal for Benilde St. Margaret's. 13 and 2, 6.27 goals against, 566 save percentage. And in the goal down to our right, Emma Crater for Maple Grove, 13 and 0. And a turnover by Maple Grove. And here come the Red Knights on the attack. There's a collision with the official. Everybody okay? And now Benilde St. Margaret's in their first attack. Charlie is bang with it. Down behind the net. They're going to set it up. Maggie Grasek, a one to watch, wearing number 24. 56 goals this year. She has great size and is a force in front of the net. And she gets it right inside that eight meter line. It's put on the ground, taken away by Maple Grove. Huge collision there. She got run down by Carson Elliott. Maple Grove's going to hang on. Big shot there. Look at that. There is no contact in girls lacrosse, but don't tell me they don't hit each other. They they get physical. And here comes Maple Grove. Good run for the Crimson. Right up the middle of the field. Inside a feed and a save by Nelson. Just absolutely robbed. The Maple Grove Crimson right there. They had it right on the doorstep. So a big save by Brooke Nelson. And you said in the open, Dan, you know, goaltending could be huge. And that's a gigantic save. Well, Nelson got down, got that whole body involved, just closing up that net. She saw she was going to go low, and she just closed it down. Did a really nice job. That was a big save. There's a ground ball. It comes all the way out. She robbed Liam Muscatello. 32 goals, 11 assists for the Crimson. Headed for D2 Mount Olive. Maple Grove turns it over, and here comes Benilde St. Margaret's on the move the other way. We are scoreless, just underway in the section championship. Benilde in the red, white numerals. And they'll set it up. And Julie Evans wearing number 10, 49 goals. Charlize Vang, 35 goals. So they have a lot of top end scoring. 
but they rely on that top end scoring. Here's Elliott. Elliott with a charge inside. Good catch on the outside by Vang. And then it goes right in on net, and that's grabbed by Crater. Good job by Crater. She's being pressured. Crater tries to clear near side, throws it away. Weather lovely. Cloudy 78, east breeze at seven miles an hour. Air quality has improved quite a bit. I'm still breathing pretty good. That's a good sign. Got a lovely night for this. Boy, just an unforced error there by uh, Emma, or, uh, Emma Crater there for the Crimson. And we'll see how much that happens. They're, these two teams, you do not give the ball away. You make use of every single possession. Both are good enough to you know, make you pay if you turn it over. And, and those clears to the sideline, there's just no margin for error. Here's one inside, Benilde St. Margaret's trying to get a shot away down low was Cates's. And that comes in on the goaltender, Crater, and Crater's going to clear as a stick in her face. I like that strategy as well as they got Maggie Graves yes. right in her face. Yep, yep. Put pressure on him, make him work for every single yard. Good clear to the middle of the field. Here come the Crimson the other way. On the move, Muscatello right down the middle in. Gets it down. Yeah, what a goal. Whoa. Whoa. Right over the top. And the Crimson are on the board early. Time of that goal, 357. And we'll take another look at it. But good movement by Maple Grove to get the early advantage in this one. Well, second fast break that they blew out of there and just did a great job of making sure they got this one done, knowing she was going to go down. But they still beat her. See the good run right there. Got the pass down. And uh, down in front. And Curler. Beautiful. Just beautiful. He couldn't have drawn it up any better. And Curler from Muscatello. And once again, time of that goal, 3.57. So Maple Grove on top here in the section championship game. State next week. Wait Bear and Stillwater are the host sites for boys and girls lacrosse. And now we're going to get things sorted out here on this Face off in the middle of the field for Maple Grove out there. Kudla. And for Benilde St. Margaret's Evans. That one popped off to the side. Trying to grab that ground ball is Geertsen. It's going to go out of bounds. Maple Grove's going to get it, so they get the goal, and they're going to ultimately end up with it, and they're going to move it quickly down the field. Good hustle by the Crimson, boy. They're just going after everything, and that's the way you got to be in a section championship game. Give nothing. And Curler in the middle. Shot down low. Coughlin, the senior, eighth of the year, 2-0. Crimson. Boy, the, the Red Knights, I'll tell you something. They're leaving that slot open, Steve, and they're just they're getting the ball to her, and you, you're putting your goal in a really helpless situation. Look at the pass right here and just gets it in nice play there and she took her time and she found the right spot and put it in crimson up two zip assist to Ella Olson for Olson number 21 on the assist category but Coughlin number eight two zero crimson we're not five minutes in so a great start for Maple Grove and head coach Haley Karate urging on the fans here. And her bench. She's pumped up, ready to go. And that faceoff controlled by the Red Knights. And they charge down the field. Katesis, side of the net. They get onto that X position behind the net. And now they'll set it up. Maple Grove, though. 3.4 a game. You mentioned that at the <laughs> top, Dan. That's ridiculous. In lacrosse, that's just unbelievable. Anything under five is like almost unattainable but they play well we can see good good defense and good goaltending here's elliott charge to the almost tried the tough angle shot now she'll swing it around right in the middle fanning on a shot still loose popped around and that ground ball comes to the outside they got it inside but no one could gain control but the red knights have it and now it's hillen's way on the outside quick sticks by the crimson inside there in that slot area and boy they Really shut it down, no clean shots there. Elliott near side, now Vang right down the middle, walks in, and off the post. Vang off the post, she'll pick up the ground ball. But 
Came close to getting Benil St. Margaret's on the board. Well, Vang's dangerous. 35 goals on the season so far, and boy, she's been real aggressive here moving it. They're going to have to put a stop to her so she doesn't get that shot off. So here comes Benil on the outside. They're letting score. Gray sick. Way out there on the edge. She loves to work inside, yes. but she's on the perimeter goal line extended. Trying to get a cut and get it inside that eight meter line. They would settle for a free position here. Oh, absolutely. Geertsen turned away. But old St. Margaret's. Long attack. That one on the ground. Elliott being challenged. Double team comes. Elliott scoops up the ground ball. Did a great job using the body to shield the yes. ball. Now they get it off to the side, and we're going to get a foul. Now take a look at this shot here. Kind of went off the stick, and then it got turned into a mess, to be in front, honest in front of you. Nobody could get a hold of the ball. There's Vang's run. Yep. <laughs> she got robbed. It looked like they drew iron twice Yes. <laughs> on this attack. They're still at it. Now they're out at the 12-meter fan. The rate they're going, they should paint the goalpost maroon on that side because it's been all Maple Grove's buddy there all the whole time. There's a shot ripped wide by Carson Elliott. 19 goals, six assists for the junior attack for the Red Knights. And Old St. Margaret's had a player deep. They're going to hang on. I, I don't think, I think that Maple Grove player hustled ahead, but they called it a little early that time. That was Peruse back there. Very close. Red Knights try and get it in front. Rusinski has to go the other way. Now inside the eight, shot and a goal. Beautiful feed. And that is Charlize Vang, number 36 on the year. Benilde has pulled it within 2-1. Uh, we knew sooner or later she was going to get hers. She did a nice job that they got the pass to her. They're looking for her. She's just not giving up. She ain't real big. But boy, she's got some nice quick moves and knows where she's going. Watch the pass here. To Vang, and she made one move to her right and then came back left and got the shot off. We'll see it here. Makes the move and then brings it back to her shooting end and gets it down low to get the, the Red Knights back to within a goal. 7.25, time of the goal, 2-1. Maple Grove the first two. And now the Red Knights answer back right back to the middle of the field. That, that was... A long stint in the attack zone for Benilde St. Margaret's. And Benilde's going to get it there. Cates has got the better of it. Going head to head. With Maple Grove right uh, down the field. And they get the equalizer. That didn't take long. And that was Grasek. Number 57 on the year. They, they just won that opening face off and went right down and got the equalizer. Well, they're 13 and two for a reason. Time of that goal, 7.36. Goals 11 seconds apart, and here it is. Faceoff awarded to Benilde St. Margaret's, and then they, they, they're just on the go. Mm -hmm. And they get down the field. <laughs> right over the top, off the feed from Cates. Grace had made a nice move there. She stayed back long enough to let the defense forget about her, and then she moved into where she needed to be. Smart player. 101st point of the season, and the Red Knights storm back and tie. They'll get another face off. This time it's Julia Evans. And away, Benilde St. Margaret. So Maple Grove early momentum. Benilde St. Margaret's has grabbed it back. Bang in that X position behind the net. She can pass out of there. Vang a sophomore, her sister, Phaedra, a senior wearing 14. Get it over to the side. That is Grasek. She likes to work from that side of the field into the middle. Boy, I'll tell you, the Red Knights really got good movement though. They're moving people through all the time and they're looking for the open spots. Boy, they better keep an eye on Grasek. She has, she can find a hole, and if you get her that close, she's going to bury it every time. Yeah, and she can use use that length to come over the top and almost dunk it on the goalie. Bang! Wow. Number two for her. 
whip that run real nice on her right hand or left hand. My gosh, what a great shot that was. Good pass, good shot, bang. Number two for Vang. See here, just a good pass here. She switches hands, goes to her left, puts it away. You don't see that happen too often, Steve. They pretty much stayed in their same hand, but she got a nice switch hand there to give her an advantage. Dylan's a great feed. And watching Vanilla St. Margaret's and some of the highlight videos from earlier in the season, mm -hmm. that's what they love to do from around the 12 inside the eight. And they can let it fly. And Bang has two. Once again, they rely on three players for the bulk of their scoring. Bang, Evans, and Grayzik. And so far, two of the three have already scored in this game. Right back to the middle. That one kicked to the near side. Who's going to gain control? Big spot for Maple Grove to get that ground ball. And Bang's going to control. Well, that was a terrific pick along the near sideline. She's walking the tightrope and begins her charge along the goal line extended. Now swings it behind the net. Jun Vang also out there, a ninth grader. And now right down the middle, fanning on the shot. But this this will be a free position right down yeah. the middle. Mm -hmm. Girls rules are a little bit more strict now than the boys, so you know they got to watch the sticks and where they're positioned. Gates right in the middle of the field. The goalie crater for Maple Grove. And Elton scored three in a row. Big spot here for Crater to get a save. She'll step, shoot, save, save. save. Big save, and it comes right back to her. So Emma Crater, huge save for the Crimson. Come on at near side, caught there neatly. That's Coughlin. Coughlin had a goal. They turn it right back. Charging in, Katesis, and kicks a goal. Off the turnover, 4-2, Benilde St. Margaret's. Well, you can't just give turnovers like that, especially in your own zone. You made a nice save. You got a good outlet pass to the side and then just threw it to the wrong spot. There was an equal amount of Red Knights there versus Crimson. Red Knights came up with it, brought it right back down, and got to go. Look at the nice pickup here. And just knows exactly where she's going to go with it. Nice bounce shot. Beats Crater down low. Dan, face offs, ground balls. Oh, you think? Yeah. Yeah, no question about it. And Benilda's had the advantage on the faceoffs. Whether they've won them cleanly or been awarded the faceoff, that has been an advantage. Clouds thickening up a little bit. Pleasant night. Weather's well, certainly not a factor. That ground ball over to the near side. Crimson get it. And they certainly needed that as they move the other way. This is done. Yeah, Riley man. done 23 goals this year. They put it on the ground. Maple Grove needs some attack zone time. Oh, yeah. Well, they need a goal right now, too. I mean, they got to get this momentum switched around. And, you know, Benel's going to play with a lot of confidence. You can see how aggressive they're being now. They're looking to jump into the passing lanes real quick. Spinning in the middle. Maple Grove, Muscatello, the good feed. And that's going to come in between the 8 and the 12. So Maple Grove will get it there. And this is done again, the ninth grader. 40 points this season. Terrific year for, for her. Maple Grove unbeaten, swings it off to the right. And now they'll set it up. Nice, good, good patient play. Feet into the middle, put it on the ground, and that, that's gonna be a foul on Benil. Yep. This will be a free position at the eight. Yeah, halo violation up top there. You gotta keep that stick out of that mask area. Muscatello, big opportunity here. He shoots save oh. by Nelson. Nice save by Nelson. She has a real knack of getting her body behind her, behind her basket and does a great job that way. Ground ball near his side. Two players his side fighting for it. And the Crimson come out of there. Leah Muscatello, one of the seniors, grabs it. She has it knocked away. It's picked up there by Vang. This was, or, yeah, it was Jun Vang. And then a foul on Maple Grove. So. The Red Knights are gonna hang on to it. We do get a yellow out of all of that. And that will be Riley Dunn taking a knee. And a Bullsby there, the head coach of the Red Knights there. 
He's got a good, good season going here at 13-2. 215 goals and outscored their opponents who've only scored 89. They've been a juggernaut this year. Clear out to the middle, and that ground ball is picked up by Caitlin Coughlin. Had goal number two for Maple Grove. Good dodge there by Coughlin. Continues her run to the right. Now to the goal line extended. And over there is Ella Olson. They'd like to get her involved. Ella quite a year, 45 goals, 20 assists. Going to Augsburg to play a hockey. Terrific athlete. Got a number of two-sport athletes sitting out here, too. Oh, yeah. And no, it shows both teams, both very good, both playing in the section final now. And, and the skills of lacrosse tra translate to so many sports. Oh. I mean, they're just, the the, the, the hand-eye, the fitness. Hockey, basketball. Yeah, you name it. Oh, yeah. Trying to get to the front is Ella Olson. I'd love to get her started in this one. And we got a foul. Maple Grove's going to continue. That was just a bump on the outside. Play on. That was Phaedra Vang with the bump. No big deal. Coming up on 12 to go here in quarter number one. Maple Grove the first two. Four in a row for Benilde St. Margaret's. And now Maple Grove on the attack. They're trying to get someone free in front. They got a lot of players on the perimeter. Now the Red Knights are shutting down that middle boy. They're not anybody inside the arcs. There's Isaacson. Double team comes. Isaacson trying to get to the middle. She's, they're trying to trap her. Now three around her. And they finally give it up. Perus. Maple Grove really having a hard time. Benilde cranking it up defensively. Now it's Isaacson again. Maple Grove's held, but they haven't had a ton of scoring opportunities in this attack. They try and get it into the middle. It's a catch. This is done. Then over to the side, running it down over there is Ella Olson. Olson's going to try, go around the corner. Good power move there by Olson. Boy, she, she kind of turned that corner and got around that defender coming on the inside of the net. She's going to get it back behind the net. Oh, they got a ward on her, too. She stuck her arm out a little bit, trying to ward off the player there. So that's going to go to the Red Knights. Yeah, so Kate says actually wins that battle with Ella Olson back there. And now Kate says with Olson right near her. They begin her run up the far sideline. She's got an alley. She can motor, too. Well, Kate says had the last goal for Benilde St. Margaret's. Now look out, Gravesick over on the left, gets it on top. Croft. And now this is Phaedra Vang. Now work it around the perimeter. Now Jun Vang. Now it's Gravesick. They got to feel pretty good right now after that long attack by Maple Grove and been held up by two. Well, they're taking their time. They're not forcing things. Gracek goes wide, and you can see how her size is an advantage because oh. she's able to go up high and still get a shot away. Yeah, and if anybody gets the defender gets a stick up there, it's it's close to a halo violation. Cutter Vang down the middle had it knocked away, but this will be a free position that came well inside the eight meter line, and now it's going to be Fade Vang, the senior, 12 goals, five assists coming in, and the goalie Emma Crater. Needs to step up here with her team down by two. Bang. Walks in, gets bumped. We'll get a yellow out of all of that. And we'll do it again. Was, it, was that a yellow? I do. Yeah. They're not dropping the flags. They're just holding them up in their hands. There's Bang again. Double team. Great defense by Maple Grove. Right. He had to do something. She was killing him. She was doing a great job. That one goes on the ground over to the far side and out. Yeah, that, that's out of there. And Maple yep. Grove's going to get it back. Turnover on the Red Knights. Now Maple Grove's got to take advantage. First two goals came in the first 421 of this quarter. 
Since then, it's been all Benilde St. Margaret's. Here's Maple Grove. Good run. And now they move it ahead into the attack zone. Van Curler. Van Curler's had a nice year. 14 goals, 13 assists for the junior. Now it's Ella Olsen at that X position behind the net. And you can tell on that last attack, they were trying to get her free. He's going to try and power her way around the corner. Can't. You need that alley to shoot. Yep. Olsen now working in front. Trying to set a pick. Coming around the corner, Van Curler spinning. Had it knocked out of there, but she is going to get her free position. And a shot at the goalie, Brooke Nelson, who's made two gigantic yes. saves, Dan. Yes. Both goalies have come up big. Now it's Megan Van Curler. She rips one wide. And Benilde St. Margaret's had that player deep, so they'll get it back. We look at the head coach, Haley Karate, Maple Grove Crimson. Good player in her own right. He's done a marvelous job with this Maple Grove program. Got him undefeated this year. They are looking good. Bailey Gray got bumped by Maple Grove's so see Van White. And now Benilde St. Margaret's on the attack. Both teams playing pretty deliberately here in this section final. Benilde St. Margaret's leading at 4-2. to two. Both teams averaging over 14 a game. I, I looked at the numbers. I, I think coming into this game, both teams have scored 215 goals. Yes. 14.33 exactly. a game. Mm -hmm. Just that Benilde's given up a few more overall. So, but so far they've been they've been very dominant. Benilde St. Margaret's three years in a row to state. They finished third a year ago. Maple Grove's been there six times, and now Maple Grove comes back the other way. And another big opportunity. Maddie Sukup put it on the ground. Benilde St. Margaret's battling for the ground ball. Hard fought near midfield. Red Knights grab it. Lauren Hillens. Now it's going to clear it into the middle, and that's picked off. Picked off by Maple Grove. Perus with a run. She walks right in. And a save by Nelson. Oh. Wow. Not much on the shot, but what I like what Nelson did, I think it shocked the shooter that she came out on it. Watch what happens. Just a free run, good intercept. Coming down, now watch what Nelson does here. She gets right out front. And she's actually coming out toward the ball as it's shot. That wasn't six Perus, that was eight Erickson. Erickson, a golden opportunity stolen away by Maple Grove. One hop pass into the middle. Ella Olson has to give it up on the left, and now they'll set it up. And now here's a cutter. And we've got a free position opportunity mm -hmm. for the Crimson. So. They get another chance here, and this is going to be Riley Dunn. 23 goals. Red Knights have played tremendous defense here. She rips one. That skips wide. Maple Grove had two deep, and they'll hang on to a good shot by Dunn. Just goes wide, but Brooke Nellis an excellent position. Oh, She's got a great way of just getting her body in the way. She just doesn't rely on her basket, and that's really key for a lacrosse goalie. And the fact that they, they are willing to sacrifice their body for the team still. And here's Olsen gets a feed from the side and buries it. Ella Olsen, number 46 on the year. Maple Grove within one. Terrific feed in tight. Well, Benil's been playing this kind of a double team, a soft double team. As soon as the player gets close inside the arc there, they bring two players toward the, the ball carrier, and she just broke this up. What a great play there, and she got behind both the D there. Nice feed from Muscatello, yes. her second assist. And a huge goal for Maple Grove. Comes at 20-01, 4-3. Benil right back to the middle of the field. Maple Grove would love to win this phase off. And continue that momentum. Certainly is a game of runs or can be. Maple Grove the first two, then Benilde four in a row. Now Maple Grove has cut it to one. 
here on their home field. That one's popped out of there, and the ground ball picked up by Evans. Evans quite a score. 81 points coming in to this game here tonight. 81 points in 15 games. She averages 3.27 points per game here for the Red Knights. Feet into the middle, caught by Vang, skips wide. Picked up by the Red Knights. Now they get it over to the near side, Fader Vang. For Charlize Vang. 62 coming in, has a goal already here tonight. The old St. Margaret's on the attack. They've had the advantage on the face offs, there's no doubt. Yes, absolutely. That one's off to the right, caught by Jun Vang. Inside, and that Charlize Vang has another one, her third of the game. Well, she's, um, she moves around a lot, too. She's coming from all different directions here. There's the family right there, the Vangs, cheering on their children, so to speak, their athletes. Time of the goal, 20-38. Vang so quick. Boy, you know what? I'm, I'm really liking this, dude. I remember when they got girls lacrosse going here. It was kind of hard to watch, but boy, it's really turned into something here as the girls learn how to catch and play. Look at that nice move. Fakes quick to the right and then brings it back over the left corner uh, for the Red Knights. And what's impressive is Emma Crater, the goalie, had great position. Oh, yeah. She just dumped it right over their shoulder. Yep. Not much you can do about that. And now Maple Grove in a position where they need a face-off win. And they pop that into the air. Riley Dunn giving chase. Ground ball controlled by Benilde St. Margaret's. And that may be the biggest key of the game right now. Yes. Bailey Gray sends it ahead. They, they've got an advantage on ground balls, but they have a clear advantage on face-offs. Vang's going to catch on the near side. That's Jun Vang. Out into the middle. The old St. Margaret sets it up. They begin their run. Katesis. Katesis has a goal and an assist in this game. Jun Vang trying to get to the front. Or excuse me, that was Charlize Vang with the three goals. Wearing number six. And now it's Katesis right back out on top. And Maggie Grace has a goal in the game, but has been relatively quiet. There's a catch by Vang. That goes wide. That was Jun Vang. Now Charlize back there with Jun playing catch. We're trying to get it back to the middle. And she switches her hands with ease. Yeah. Left hand, right hand. Vang into the middle with speed at it, knocked away, but this is going to be a free position. She's got a good chance for number four here as they set her up near side right on the edge of the eight meter line. And another big spot for Emma Crater. Maple Grove goalie. The team down 5-3. Bang decides to go to the middle and they'll... Smart move. Smart move. They were going to get all over. She made a nice play there and they keep control. Maple Grove really doing a nice job on those three positions, getting two bodies to cut off that path. Yeah. It, it's it's almost a strategy where you see that, and it would almost be better to just step and shoot. Here comes Maple Grove off the ground ball. Good move. They spin into the middle. Malokade gave it up, put it right back on the ground. Benilde St. Margaret's gets it back. Nice catch at midfield. That was terrific. They move it ahead. This is Evans. Shot goes wide. And we're going to get a timeout in Old St. Margaret. So Anna Bowles, we wanted to talk it over. Gets Push. a timeout during a pretty good run. Yeah. Yeah, really. They, uh, just trying to bring them under control a little bit. They were pushing that fast break a little too quick, too. You know, you want to make it sure you keep possession here in a tight game like this with all the marbles on the line for it. And, uh, good timeout by them. But, boy, so far the Red Knights have impressed me. They are and, playing well. And w would you think, Dan, at this point, you you, you got to look at Maggie Grace coming in, 56 goals, 44 assists. She has a goal in the game here tonight, but Maple Grove's got to take her away, but that's really opened the door for Charlize Vang. She's already got three. Well, when they shut down your best player, what do you got to yeah. do? You got to find somebody's got to step yeah. up for you. There are two people, and uh, 
No, they have. Hang has done a tremendous job, and she has not missed. She's and some of the moves in front of the net she's made have been great. Switching sides, faking a shot here, moving the goalie. Done a great job. Maple Grove needs a goal right now. They need a goal. And you see that Maple Grove huddle. By the way, rankings at the end of May. Lakeville South, number one. They are the Section 1 champs. They beat Farmington 20-3. to Last night, they are the defending state champions. And then, of course, Prior Lake, Stillwater, Edina. There's Maple Grove. And then you got Chan, Benilde, Eden Prairie, Blake. Park at Cottage Grove. How about that? Gee, somebody from the other side of the river. Yeah. They got two teams. Oh, yeah. Stillwater and Park and Cottage Grove. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, tonight, Stillwater playing Gentry in the Section 4 championship. And then uh, Chan and Eden Prairie in the Section 2 championship tonight as we start to fill out the state tournament. And then uh, tomorrow night, uh, another team out of the Northwest Suburban, Champlin Park, will take on another Northwest Suburban team in Centennial in Section 7. That'll be at Champlin Park tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. So uh, Maple Grove's got a rally. And if they do and get to the state tournament, that would be two teams out of the Northwest Suburban in the state tournament, guaranteed this year. And well, we, I, I've said many times, they don't get a lot of respect up here. It's always the West and the South teams that get all the respect here. And, you know, we're starting to play some pretty good lacrosse up here. But the only way we're going to show it is by getting to state. Yeah, get to state and win some hardware yes. at the state tournament. Mm -hmm. And and start uh, getting the title games. And, and that's certainly going to change the attitudes right now. But uh, Lakeville South, the defending champs. They're in after a 20-3 win over Farmington last night. And we're out of that timeout. Benilde St. Margaret's up by two. 142 to go in the half. And they've had uh, the lion's share of the attack zone time so far tonight. Now they get it over to Pedro Vang. And, of course, Charlize Vang with three goals back there as well. Tries to get to the front. Triple team comes. And now further out, Jun Vang. And now right back out to Evans. Julie Evans has had a quiet night. 82 points at the 12. Good defense by Maple Grove. Very physical. And they put it on the ground. Maple Grove gets it back. And then a big collision. Crimson are going to hang on to it. And Maple Grove certainly paying the price right there. And absolutely getting decked on the play it was... Elizabeth Peruse. There's been a couple of plays like that, too. The Red Knights are coming out playing physical here. You can see it here. It just kind of comes across her. And really no malintent, just trying to get to a certain spot. Now big spot for the Crimson. Down by two here at home in the section championship game. But they still have plenty of time to get down the field and get set up. And goal will be huge here. And now the officials are going to huddle and talk about it. I don't know if they're discussing it. Should there be a yellow in that situation or not? And are they going to put... Yeah, they're, they're going to put a little time on the clock. Yeah, so they're going to okay. get that squared away. 53 seconds to one minute. Years ago, uh, when I was in college, I ran the clock over at Oshio Arena uh, for, for JV and varsity games for Park Center. And when, when they wanted you to adjust the time, that's pressure. It's like oh. everybody in the building is waiting for you to get it right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. You become the focal point of the crowd, and you don't want to be the focal point everybody of the crowd. Everybody in the building staring at you. <laughs> when are you going to fix a clock, buddy? That's why I always have a pair of sunglasses with me so I can go <laughs> incognito if need be. Right. Good clear. Maple Grove on the move. Great catch. Scatello, terrific run to the side of the net. Maple Grove gets it set up. Plenty of time. 45 to go in the half. Down by two. Ella Olson. Back at the X. They get it in front on the ground. Done. Can she control? There's a good battle. Maple Grove is going to come out of there with it. Nice play by Coughlin. She sends it in on that. And Nelson made the save. She got a good look. Nelson, a big save, and then a long clear out to the middle. I think Benilde St. Margaret's is going to hang on to it because Ella Olson 
did something she wasn't supposed to. I think she got inside the crease there yep. trying to block that pass. Now, Benilde St. Margaret's up by two as time. 22 seconds, but they need a good clear here. They'll send it out to the middle of the field too far on the ground. And the Red Knights gain control. Nice play there by Nicholson. Nicholson continues her run. 10 to go. They get it to the side. Grasic. Grasic to the cutter. Bang! Shot. And the save there. Benilde St. Margaret still has it. And is she going to get a free position? That came right at the end of the half, and they're going to rule the half end. And boy, that was close. Charlize Vang got it just inside the eight. Yeah. Got hit up high. They're going to call end of the half. Maple Grove may have got a break, Dan. Oh, I think they definitely got a yeah. break there, for heaven's sakes. Man, they've had a battle back and battle back, and boy, every time the Red Knights get set up, it's always scary. Vang has been especially, oh. especially effective tonight. She's done a tremendous job. Moving the ball and, and getting some shots on. I've been impressed with her moves, too. Taking the goalie out of the picture. She's done a nice job. But Hilton St. Margaret's leads Maple Grove 5-3. to three. We are at the half of the Section 5 Girls Lacrosse Championship game. Our halftime report coming up. Stick around here on CCX. the half section five championship here at Maple Grove the Crimson Trail the Hilton St. Margaret's five to three Maple Grove the number one seed the Hilton St. Margaret's number two state rankings wise Maple Grove number five the Hilton St. Margaret's number seven it's been a good one and Maple Grove got off to a fast start in this one scoring the first two goals of the game and good run here and Maple Grove Big save there by Brooke Nelson. and she had some key saves, but Maple Grove finally got on the board. That's Van Curler at 3.57, and then not much after that. Coughlin. And then Benilde St. Margaret's got on a roll. That was Bang, her first. And they, they dominated in that face-off circle. You saw that there. Yes. They were awarded a number of face-offs. Coming right down the field was Katsis. And then, of course, their big scorer, Grace, had got a goal. Here's Vang again right in the front. Boy, good move with the left hand. That left-handed shot. Yep. Got a good one. And she ended up with three goals. And there's one that skips by. Benilde St. Margaret's eventually scored four in a row to take a 4-2 lead. Maple Grove came back, and Ella Olson over the top. Uh, Maple Grove within one goal at 4-3, and then the Hilton St. Margaret's banger third right there in front. That left-handed shot over the shoulder, too. I mean, she, you know, hit a very small window, and that, that's impressive, Dan. Well, with the left hand, too. You, yep. Most lacrosse players, 80% of them are right-handed. And when you can switch from the right back to the left and get shots off like that with accuracy, you're ahead of the game here. But, you know, the other thing we're not talking about either is that the goaltender for Benilde, Brooke Nelson, has done, she's made three key critical saves at the right moment here. And it's been the difference in the game so far, as far as I'm concerned. I think she's done a tremendous job for the Red Knights. Yeah, and on the flip side, Maple Grove's goaltender Emma Crater has made a couple of big stops on free positions as well. But Benilde St. Margaret's the advantage 5-3, and to quickly sum it up, 
They've had the better of it in the face-off circle at the middle of the field, and they've had an advantage on ground balls. Yes. And, boy, I'll tell you what, that's the key to lacrosse. Ground balls, face-offs. you got to win your share of them. You've got to come out ahead in those percentages to win games here. So we'll see if uh, the Crimson can rally here and start taking advantage of it one-on-one. they got to play better. they got to play better. Maple Grove trailing Benilde St. Margaret's in the Section 5 championship game. 5-3 to three at the half, and we'll come back with the second on this cloudy night in a moment here on CCS. Charlize Vang, three goals in the first half for Benilde St. Margaret's. It's the difference. The Red Knights lead it 5-3, 25 minutes on the clock. Winner on to the state tournament next week. And let's go right out to the middle of the field and get ready for this face-off. And Benilde St. Margaret's has certainly had the advantage, and Maple Grove's got to solve that. Start winning some of these draws. They're switch sides. Brooke Nelson defending the goal for Benilde St. Margaret's down to our right. Emma Crater, Maple Grove down to the left. It's a ground ball out of there. Pops around and grabbed by Maple Grove. They will take that. Good job by the Crimson to gain control. Gets set up in the attack zone down to our right. Lots have certainly thickened up here since the start of the game. We never were in bright sunshine, but they may want to pop the lights on here. And Maple Grove for the second half. Just a thought. Here's Van <laughs> Curler. Van Curler had the opening goal. The other goals for Coughlin and Olsen. Get it inside. That one goes wide. That was a tough chance Aww. inside. And then Benilde St. Margaret's got back there and grabs it. They're going to get that shot attempt. And the Red Knights are going to come out of there. So good play there by the Red Knights. They move it ahead. Here's Julia Evans. Evans put it on the ground. Taken right back by Maple Grove. Evans after it again. Picks up that ground ball. Great vision to get it ahead to Katesis. And then Katesis sends it over to the near side. Maggie Grasek. It was a nice pass over to Grasek, too. Just yeah. three beauties right off the bat. Got him back down in the attack zone. Evans to pick up that ground ball mm -hmm. and immediately see that play down the middle of the field and put it right on the money. And now it's Grayzik, one goal. She has, after that goal early, 101 points. And now it's Evans. Good dodge into the middle, gets to the front. Had it knocked away. Tremendous defensive play by Maple, Maple Grove. And they're going to hang on to it there. A little too aggressive with the stick. And now the goalie's going to get it. And that's Crater. Crater, quick clear out to the middle. A little bit too far on the ground. Grab back. I've been in St. Margaret's. Genevieve. This is there. Boy, you know, when you get a clean situation like that and then turn it back over again to the red knight, you, boy, that's nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. And now Grayzik has it over on the near side. Relatively quiet first half, considering the amount of points she's put up this year, but it's been about Charlize Vang so far. And now it's Grayzik holding, getting pushed to the side. There's a shot attempt, and that's gonna be a free position, almost guaranteed. That was a pretty good run. And they're going to set up Carson Elliott. 19 goals, 6 assists coming in. 
Elliott has not scored. So another big spot for Emma Crater. And she's going to pass out of it. Racing shot up top. Oh. What a shot. Wow. Number two for her. It held St. Margaret's leads in 6 3. Well, that's how you end up scoring 58 goals throughout the year. My gosh, what a great move and a great shot. Found the right spot. That was something else, just a junior. And boy, she just found that upper spot real nice. Took her time, got a good look, and just got it over the shoulder. You see how high her stick got when she <laughs> let that fly. I mean, the downward plane on that is really impressive how high she got her stick before she let it go. You got to you kind of got to get out at her with with that big basket as a goalie. Don't let her get that shot. And, you know, it's tough for the goalie to leave the crease. But I think when Grace gets it, she's going to shoot it. So I, I do a little change in there. Riley Dunn was out there against Katesis. Kates has awarded the face off and she begins her run. She has great speed, as you can see, as she begins her run up the sideline. Uh, gets it over to Grayzik, who has two goals in the game. Charlize Vang, the leader, with three for Benilde St. Margaret's, and they're up by three. Maple Grove in the danger zone right now. They need to get it back. They tried to get it into Evans, and Maple Grove does get it back. Terrific move to cut in front. By the Crimson defensively. They get it to the middle of the field. And move it forward. There's a nice catch. Riley Dunn. Dunn's got space. Gets inside the eight. Can she get a shot away? No. Into oh. the middle on the ground. Maple Grove bats it around and they finally get it. Good battle. Good Ella battle. Olson. Ella Olson just kind of hung in there and picked up the ground ball. And there's still over 20 minutes to go, but you feel like Maple Grove needs one right now. Here's Olsen in the middle. Can't get a shot away. Swings it off to the left, right back on the ground. Maple Grove keeps it alive. Crimson have it. Near side, Coughlin. She has a goal here tonight. Can't get inside the eight. That's a good job by Cates to shut the door. There and there's a go. shot down low. Beautiful goal, and Maple Grove really needed that. Just good movement. They kept kept moving all, all around, just kind of, you know, keeping the, the, the Benil Red Knights moving around and finally found an opening and then put it lower in the right-hand side of the net. Dunn gets the goal. Dunn right around the corner, just saw that seam and let it go and beat Nelson on the near post. Her oh, that, first of the night. That shot fade really opened. We'll see it about right here. And it took the defense off just a little bit so she could get an opening. And boy, they needed that one, Steve. You're right. Done just a ninth grader. 24th goal of the year. And that's huge. And the Crimson back to within two. Let's go right back to the middle of the field and talk about phase offs. They need one. They got to start taking charge of some of these. You know, they can get right back into this game real quick. If they can just start winning some faceoffs. Yeah, there you go. Dunn slings it back. And here's Erickson. So Erickson in the right spot. So Maple Grove gets the goal and then gets a faceoff win. And that's how you get momentum back. Well, it gives them an opportunity to make a run here on, on some goals here. Hello, Olsen powering away to the front. Tries to go down low. And back deep for Maple Grove is Van Curler. That was a good play to get Olsen free in front. She did get a shot away, but it skips wide. Just a little off balance when she let that go. That one misses the cutter. They tried to get Muscatello. And now that long clear. What a clear. There's a collision. Running toward the net, can't get a shot away was Elliott. But I think this is going to be a free position. Yeah, halo violation. Brooke Nelson, what a clear. And then you see Elliott's run. She got hit, gets hit again. And now she's going to get it. Crater, can she make the stop on Carson Elliott? Elliott steps in, gets it away. 
and sent it over the net. I think the old St. Margaret's. No, they didn't no, get someone they gave deep. It to the Crimson. Yeah, Grayson tried to get there, but the Crimson had two players deep, and Maple Grove gets it back. 19. Or coming up on 19 to go in the game. Long clear to the middle of the field. Good catch. That was a terrific clear by the Crimson to the middle of the field. Okay, nice play. Just slowed it down, got her players moving, got more in, into the area for her. Coughlin, a great catch. That's not easy. Coughlin to the eight. Turned away. Benilde St. Margaret's cranking it up defensively. And now Maple Grove's going to back out of there. Now it's Ella Olson. She has a goal. She did get a, a shot that went just wide. Coughlin again. Coughlin's a little sneaky, boy. She likes to just let him come to her, and then all of a sudden she'll get you off balance and go right around you. Great battle over here by Dunn. Dunn had that goal. And for a ninth grader, she really battles. Really impressed by Riley Dunn. She's been great tonight for Maple Grove. And now they're going to give it to Benil. What? Maddie Cates has got the better of it. That's not the way by Ella Olsen. Getting physical along the near sideline in front of the benches. Picked up by Julie Evans. And then that one, tight roll back. Evans somehow stays in bounds. Evans into the middle of the field, too far on the ground. And the Red Knights hang on to it. This is Hillens. Hillens to the right. Shot goes wide. Been old St. Margaret's deep. They had Maggie Graves back there. We haven't seen Charlize Vang involved at all so far in the half. She was huge in the first half with three goals. And now it's Evans. I think there was an adjustment made. This is Phaedra Vang. Now they swing it way over to the right. Now this is Charlize Vang. She will start down there quite a bit. She moves into that X position behind the net. Tries to spin out of there. Trying to get to the front. So dangerous with the left hand. But Maple Grove had outstanding position on her. Had to have. Being left-handed like that, it's hard to defend against, too. Not only to play left-handed, but also to defend against a left-hander. You know, and isn't that funny? That's true. That's true in basketball as well. Yeah. When you got a lefty, it's like you, d you just don't see it as much. And now here's Gray Sick. Further out, Hillens. They put it on the ground. Maple Grove gets it back. Big spot for Maple Grove to get it back. That was terrific defensively. And now they get it to the goalie. Good move. Good play. Wonderful job there by Maple Grove. Maloka Day. And now Maple Grove down by two. Good clear ahead. They've got a scoring opportunity inside the eight. Muscatello lost its side of the net. Good battle for that ground ball. And now the official's going to get involved and sort it out. Looks like it's going to be Maple Grove ball. Yep. Muscatello. Fought for it and got it. Liam Muscatello. And now they're going to set it out on top. Maple Grove down by two. Coming up on 15 to go in the game. Goal for the Crimson would be huge. Well, they've been battling, Steve. I like the way they're, they're really being aggressive, and they're, they're not paying any attention to the score. They're just playing really hard. Yeah, they went down 6-3 early in the half, and a cut it to two. Player goes down, pops back up. Nice play there. Coughlin. Caitlin Coughlin, a senior. Gets it outside, keeps it alive. Muscatello again. Right hand, left hand. Put it on the ground. But Maple Grove gets it back somehow. Maple Grove remains on the attack. Trying desperately to get inside that eight and at least draw the free position. No such luck. Jade Isaacson with it will back out of there and set it up. Red Knights playing good, strong physical defense within the rules. Doing a nice job and then making it very difficult for the Crimson to find an opening. Hello, Olsen with it. One on one, gets to the front. That shot over the top. Good position by the goalie, Brooke Nelson, but I like the idea by Ella Olson to try and
take that over the top. And do we have do we have a yellow or an illegal shot? Uh, look, looks like Ella Wilson's shot. headed to the side. Yep. Yellow comes out. Second of the game. And for Ella Olson, her first, second for the Crimson. The only yellow so far here in this one. 14.26 to go. Excuse me. 6-4 Maple Grove. Ina Grady not very happy with that call at all. Will St. Margaret puts it on the ground, gets it back. Maple Grove really battling. Batted ahead by Muscatello, but picked up by Benilde St. Margaret's. Bailey Gray got hit up high, and Gray will come back, get set, and then move it forward. Once upon a time, they, the game would stop and they'd get everybody aligned. It's pretty rare that you see this. Yes. Where, where they usually they play on. Mm hmm. And here's Gray again. Up the sideline, nice catch. That's Julie Evans, terrific catch. Now it's Grayzik. Goal line extended near his side. And now it's Evans. Grace is Grudy has done a nice job of not forcing things. She's just taken what they've given her, and she's been dishing off really nice to her Red Knight teammates. Now we get everybody set, and they'll send it over to the near side. Fade Vang. And now it's great and sick. Wad over on the side. And they're up by two, coming up on 13 to go in the game. Still a long way to go. Maple Grove does not want to give up another one. In this spot. Every possession huge here in this section five final. Creators really got to step up and go for the Crimson now, not allow anything. This is Charlize Vang behind the net. Gray is sick. Now over to the near side. Hillens. Now it's Evans. Evans can score. They get it inside. Hillens had that shot blocked. Comes into the goalie and Crater. And then it's turned over. And they're going to say that Grasic was in the crease or had a foot in the crease. Yep. Yeah. Big break there. Crater now has it. Crater long clear to the middle of the field. And on a hop, and Ilde St. Margaret's gets it back. They'll begin a run. Boy, I don't like these long clears unless that person is absolutely wide open. They have plenty of people on the wings that she could have given the pass off to. In this game, in the section final, you can't be turning over at random like that. Lulu Rusinski caught that. She's the defender. Ran up the field, and then she'll retreat back to the midfield area. So Rusinski with a good run, and now it's Evans. Evans out on top, trying to get inside the eight. Can't. Spins. Gives it up inside. It's caught neatly. But no shot attempt there. And that, that was the situation where... She just couldn't find an alley to get a shot away. That was Cates' to the side. Here's Vang. Vang was turned away. Right back into the middle. That shot on the ground comes all the way in. Crater grabs it. Crater saw it all the way. And now right in her face is Maggie Gray's short clear on the ground. Maple Grove needs to control. And I think they're going to hang on to it. Yeah. 11 Coming up on 11 to go. Clamped down on the stick there by the Knights. You, can't, you can do that in boys, but you can't do that in girls. Here's Crater. And now they get it ahead. Maple Grove. That's Coughlin. Well, you can just see how the Red Knights are forcing them and just getting physical, making them stretch. Oh, here we go. Good run by Erickson into the middle. Muscatello spinning. Can't get his shot away, but she's going to get her free position, yep. I believe. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she was well inside the eighth. Yes, now this is a huge spot for Maple Grove. Muscatello, a couple of assists in the game. Love to get a goal here. Steps, shoots. 
That one partially deflected, caught by Olsen. Olsen right back to Muscatello, got bumped inside the eight. She'll get another free position at the eight, right in the middle. Coming up on 10 to go in the game. Maple Grove needs this right now. I think she's going to go low this time. She went high the last time trying to catch a corner. and uh... She lets it fly, oh. and it's saved by Brooke Nelson. Down to a knee. She used that body. Yep. Nelson did a good job that time. She was thinking the same thing I was. Katesis with the run. Evans to her left. Katesis right down the middle. Saved by Crater. She answers with a big save. Did, did I happen to say something about goaltending here? <laughs> right at the top. Man, I'll tell you. it's just, and, and you don't expect that in a lacrosse game, but it, it happens more often than not in these good games. I'm going to need to buy you a Diet Coke for hitting that nail on the head. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, Crater. Good outlet in the middle. Good movement by Maple Grove to get someone free in the middle of the field. Make that an easy clear. Now the Crimson getting hit. They continue their run. Good job moving forward by Annabelle Nicholson. Maple Grove right back at it. They're down by two. But they have been battling. And I think we're going to get another free position for the Crimson here. And we are near yep. side on the eight. And this is going to be Riley Dunn. One goal already. Well, that physical defense has been effective, but it's it's opened up a lot of free shots for the Crimson here, and they got to start making and pay for it. Put these away. She needs to go to her left hand here. Done shot. That one skips by. Maple Grove hangs on. They get it right back to the front, put on the ground. And the Red Knights are going to move it the other way. Long clear out to the middle of the field. That's caught. Carson Elliott, ter terrific job, put it on the ground. Maple Grove right back at it. And that's a nice play by the Crimson. And now they got to get back. Coming up on eight to go. They're down by two in this section final. This is Coughlin. Double team comes, eludes that. Nice play. Coughlin really patient, didn't run herself into trouble. She used the sideline effectively and got a nice pass. Yeah, Muscatello trying to get to the front. Good move. Swings it back behind the net. Coughlin trying to get out in front. Down low. Blocked by Nelson. Another big save. She has had some lights wow. out saves. Terrific goal, goalie play on both ends. Stolen back by Maple Grove. They're back to the attack. Inside the eight. And now they back out of there. That was knocked away by Benilde St. Margaret's. Hillens all over it. Lauren Hillens a heads up play, and now Rusinski after it. I think this, this game's gotten a little more intense, Steve. Yeah. Benilde St. Margaret's by two. Coming up on seven to go. Player goes down. And I think we're going to get a yellow here. First yellow of the game against Benilde St. Margaret's. Going to decide. Elliott's going to take a knee. Now Maple Grove. Both teams averaging over 14 a game. 6-4 right now with 7.02 to go. It's been even. Nelson, some monster saves for the Red Knights. Ella Olsen gets it in the middle. Shot saved by Nelson. Oh, my gosh. How beautifully she stepped out of that. You see that? About a step and a half toward, toward Olsen and just made it work. Nice job. Long clear. Batted away by the Crimson. Terrific defensive play down there. What a job by Maple Grove's Grace Erickson. The junior, just an outstanding play because who was there? Maggie Grace. And she knocked it away from her. Now it's Evans, moves it ahead. Here's Vang. Three goals in the game. Vang on the run. Gets it ahead. Here's Grasick, has two. And now they set it up. Coming up on six to go in this game. Red Knights lead at 6-4. They've been to state three years in a row. Actually, two years in a row, 21-22. No state tournament in 20 there. Finished 30 a year ago. 
Maple Grove's been to state six times. Two of the better programs in the state, and they're rated in the top five, both of them, so. Section championship here on a cloudy, breezy night. Here's Graves near side, almost on the sideline. That kind of tells you the strategy of head coach Anna Bowlesby. Let's spread them out, make them come out and meet us. As they really spread the field in the attack zone. And she's got confidence in her players, too, that in a one-on-one -on -one situation, they will generally win most of those battles, especially with Graysick. Graysick's big physical player. And she gets bumped, and now they reset. Coming up on five to go. And now Evans. Evans, good dodge. She's got some room trying to get toward the net. And then it'll go down to that X position. Comes into the crease area, grabbed by Crater. Crater looking for a clear. And she's going to get it into the middle of the field. It goes on the ground. And it's picked up on the run there by Elliott. Good ground ball. She lowers the shoulder. And, yeah, it's going to go to Maple Grove. Can't do that. It's called charging. It's called <laughs> charging. She just lowered the shoulder. And, <laughs> and, and I will give the officials credit. They, they have called a good game tonight. Very we haven't good seen game. a ton of yellows. They're letting them play, knowing what's on the line. You got to call that. But I, I think the officials done an outstanding job in this game tonight. Well, what's nice, too, in these section games and stuff like that, three refs, not two, three. So they really got the field covered well. And if the team is working together well, they're really covering each other nicely. So, And you notice every time they... We have a timeout or a break. They're together talking to each other out there, and we see them in the middle of the field right now talking. That's just a good team of referees. See the Crimson Huddle and Benilde St. Margaret's talking it over. And in the Section 5 Boys Lacrosse Championship, number one, Benilde St. Margaret's takes down number two, Maple Grove, 13 to 10. A whale of a performance by the Crimson against yes. a, a, a team many think will win the boys title this year. That's the closest anybody's been to the Red Knights this year. And uh, Maple Grove had a nice run. They came in, you know, undefeated. And, well, just a tough little run there. But uh, they knew they'd have to get by him, and they knew it was coming right before the season even started. And they made a heck of a good game for it. But I'll tell you what, the Red Knights are good. They are good. Two-time defending state champs. And Odds-on favorite to do it again in the Boys State Lacrosse Tournament. Boys and Girls Lacrosse. The venues, White Bear Lake and Stillwater, Stillwater. this year. So East Metro for that. And you know, you got a Boys and Girls Championship game. The boys started at 4.30 down in St. Louis Park. And here we are in Maple Grove, 7 o'clock start. And the lights are on. All right. There in Maple Grove. You know, I was kind of like, Turn those lights on. I, I need the help. I need I need the help. Are you trying, there they are. trying to say their minds don't work as good as they used to, Steve? <laughs> yeah. I can relate. Yeah. It, Man. Things wear out. What's been really great about this game, Steve, is just the, the, the goaltending on both ends of the field here. Yeah. They've been re really good. Both Nelson and uh, Crater. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they have both made outstanding saves on free positions. And Brooke Nelson has just flat out robbed oh. a moment ago Ella Olson yep. right in front. What a save that was. And out of the timeout, here we go. Four and a half to go. And Hilton St. Margaret's by two. They let it five to three at the half. Teams have traded goals. But Hilton St. Margaret's went up 6 3 at 252. Uh, Maggie Gray's six, second goal of the night. Maple Grove was in big trouble, but they battled back, and they have had opportunities. Still down by two. Still time, but they there's oh. a big bump. Grayzik just absolutely slams into Maloka Audrey Maloka Day got decked, and she'll get it. And Old St. Margaret's is really going to challenge. And, and really, at this point, Make it difficult to get into the attack zone. There's a clear over the middle. Good catch. Maple Grove still has it alive. And now they do get it forward. Here's Dunn. Dunn a shot. Saved by Nelson again. She tried to go up high. That one ricochets over to the far side of the field. And Maple Grove's going to hang on to it. They're down by two, but 
Time is not on their side. Riley Dunn's played great, the ninth grader. Well, they, yeah, she really has. <laughs> good the future's player. bright for both of these teams. I mean, they've got some young players and some really good young players. Yeah, Dunn's just been outstanding tonight all over it. Here's a good move. They go down low. That got maybe hit the foot of Nelson. And she's going to leave it in that crease area, and then it's scooped up. Bailey Gray for Benilde St. Margaret's. She's on a run to midfield and beyond. That, that was a good strategy there by Brooke Nelson. To set it down in the crease, get out of the way, and let Gray pick it up on the run. Here's a chance, Benilde St. Margaret's. Bang trying to get to the front. It's on the ground, and Maple Grove comes back the other way. Maple Grove's been so stout defensively here in this half. They really have. They've stepped up their game to match the Red Knights game because they're both playing terrific defense. Crater now. Big decision here. Gets it to the middle of the field. It's caught. Maple Grove still with time. Down by two. That one knocked away. And Vang spikes it in disgust as the Crimson are going to hang on. Here's Dunn. Dunn trying to get around a double team. Shoved there by Gray. Six shoved again. Shoved again. And then when are you going to call something? Finally they do. Grayson's going to get a yellow. She needed one. Uh, she's gotten way too physical here in the last few minutes here. So second yellow against Benilde St. Margaret's. And then Vang frustrated. Charlize Vang had three goals. She's going to sit. I don't know if they, they called back-to-back -back yellows because she spiked the ball in disgust, and now we're going to get a timeout, so Benilde St. Margaret's can cool down. Vang thought she got a turnover and spiked that ball, and then after that, it was Grayson pushing and shoving mm -hmm. middle of the field. Yeah. Well, you hope it doesn't cost him, but you can you can see here, they come in, Grayson yeah. just kind of pushing yeah. and pushing. She gets that stick up way too high. She knew it. Oh, yeah. She wouldn't argue with it. But, uh, you know, and I, you know, let's face it, a little toughness never hurt anybody, by God. You know, sometimes you'll do that on purpose. But the, the strategy, though, by Benilde St. Margaret's and head coach Anna Bowlesby is just deny the attack zone. Yeah. E even if we take a yellow, make it really difficult for them to get set up. Because with, you know, 207 remaining, Benilde St. Margaret's up by two in a good spot. And then here's Bang spiking it. And that's. Unsportsmanlike. Yep. There's no need for a two. You got a two-goal lead here with two minutes to go in the game, and just you know. But you understand, this has been a heated game. I mean, they yep. the score is close enough. I, they aren't yet even coming close to their average of 14 goals a game. So I would imagine there's a little frustration there. And all right, out of the timeout, and now Maple Grove's gotta have one. Well, you can hear the crowd here is getting fired up. They're making a lot of noise, and frankly, they're making the press box shake a little bit. Yeah. Charlize Vang over to the sideline. We saw the yellow a moment ago on Maggie Grayzik. And they have five of the six for the Red Knights. Well, Mabel Grove can't waste any time now. they got to pump one in here as quickly as they possibly can and get set up for that final surge to tie this game. Well, here they go. Trap comes, and they move it ahead, and it is caught. Ella Olson on a run trying to find a cutter. Does right down the middle of the field. And we're going to get a free position. 152 to go. came a little too soon. Muscatello may have jumped the gun there. The goalie, Brooke Nelson, has just made some stellar saves tonight. She just made another good one on that, yeah. that shot, too, my God. Nothing's going in my net, period. Big spot here. Goes without saying. Shot. Save. By Nelson, and she paid the price. Yeah, that hurt. Oh. That definitely hurt. 
She makes a save, uses her body, and got drilled. Look at this. Ouch. Right off the chest. Oof, right on the shoulder there. Yeah. And that one laid on the ground, and here's Bailey Gray. Bailey Gray with great speed up the middle of the field. Maple Grove's got to get it back, down by two. Gray continues her run, sends it down into the corner. They're going to spread it out again. Remember, Gray's sick on the sideline. Now they get it near side. Julia Evans. Maple Grove converging on the ball. They have to get it back sooner than later. And they may have to risk a yellow at some point to try and get it back. Well, they're double teaming, and I'm liking that. And there we go. They got it back. Oh, no. That Cates is foul there. Yep. Now they get it to Gray, and now further to the outside. Coming up on one to go in the game. But Hilton St. Margaret's trying to play keep away on the ground. Grabbed there by Maddie Cates. Cates had the other goal in the game. Now Stepped got, out. Did she, oh, she stepped out. Yep. Well, 45 seconds. Maple Grove's got to hurry. They got a home run clear here by Crater. And then she turned it over. And I'm not sure. I think when the pass was made, they had their foot, one, one foot in, one foot out of bounds. Oh. But Hilton St. Margaret's by two, 37.1. And. That may seal it. It just, even if Maple Grove was able to get it and go down the field and get a quick goal, they just aren't going to have the time. And now they're going to get everyone set. You can see the time remaining. Benilde St. Margaret's led it 5-3 to three at the half. Both teams trade goals. Benilde St. Margaret's went up 6-3. Maple Grove got a goal back. That was done. Well, there's been a lot of speed and quickness in this game, too. It hasn't been a slowdown type of game. They've really gone after each other pretty hard. But the score doesn't reflect that. And that's where you get your good goaltending. And now, I think the substitutions are done. And now, I think we're set. And old St. Margaret's. They get it to Cates. She's got terrific speed. We've seen that all night. She's Game. just going to run over to the far corner, yeah. and why not? Game's over. 20 seconds. Double team comes. Cates now. That's wide open, trying to get to the front. Sends it over. It's Evans. Evans just backs out of there. Coming up on 10. Red Knights by two. Red Knights. Oh, perfect. What a beautiful. Oh. And then she turns it over With down in the corner. Left. But that'll do it. Benilde St. Margaret's is a Section 5 champion. They take down the Crimson here in Maple Grove 6-4. to four. And boy, what a display of goaltending by Brooke Nelson of the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights. My gosh, she personally shut down four goals that would have made a big, big difference. And then it wasn't necessarily that she saved us when she saved him. As Maple Grove was trying to build momentum back, she really, as far as I'm concerned, was the star of the game tonight. Brooke Nelson, senior goalie coming in 13-2. and 6.27 goals again. Save percentage, 566, which is good. But she was lights out tonight, as you pointed out, Dan. And then, of course, uh, Charlize Vang. Three goals in the first half. Maggie Grazik, their leading scorer, uh, with with goal number 57 and 58 tonight, and they hold off Maple Grove. And the, the Crimson played well, and on the other end, Maggie Cr or Emma Crater made some terrific yes. saves as well. Yes, yes, we saw some really good goaltending in this game. But uh, it was close, and I, I thought it would be. I didn't think anybody was going to get far away, and the scoring wasn't as much, too. Both goaltenders showed up tonight. I mean, they're both averaging 14 goals a game, and it didn't even come close. But a very, very well-played game, and it shows that these teams can play in a, in a fast pace type deal, or they can sit back and play, you know, good, patient lacrosse. But Hilton St. Margaret's wins it 6-4. to four. 
Uh, they will advance to the state tournament for the third year in a row. They finished third a year ago. They are now 14-2, and two, and Maple Grove finishes 15-1. and one. Haley Karate head coach or staff, and these players have to be proud of a conference championship season yep. and a great battle in the section final. Yeah, they did, the, they did their school proud. There's no reason to hang your head. Uh, this Red Knight team is very, very good. Very, yeah. very good. And, and, Dan, you talked about it at the top, you know, the, the goaltending and just a kit, tip of the cap to Brooke Nelson and their elite scoring really stepped up in the, this game with Charlize Vang and Maddie Grasick accounting for five of the six goals. Yeah. They, they really got it done. And you, you see Brooke there celebrating, and, and, and why not? Brooke is hurting. I'll tell you what, she oh. took one on that shoulder, and it, 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 she still feels it. Yeah, she took a real shot and a big save late in that game. And now Maple Grove getting the uh, section runner-up. And then Benoit St. Margaret's will get the section championship trophy here tonight. Great job by our CCX crew. Thanks, Always guys. Always fun to work with Dan Ficken. My name is Steve Thompson. Once again, girls across section five championship to Benoit St. Margaret's. They win it tonight 6-4 over Maple Grove. Good night.